Hey there, welcome to episode 3 of Overshare, a weekly look into the brain of me, Cash of Pasta. In the past few days, I've been noticing a bunch of Facebook statuses about our local hockey team, the Vancouver Canucks. Now, I don't really know much other than they seem to be doing great. I'm not really a hockey fan or into pro sports at all. I've genuinely tried, but it's kind of like Mega64's Derek Acosta would say. It's pretty much giving two groups of grown-ups a bunch of rules, and whoever follows the rules best wins. Yay! Nothing against anyone else's passions at all, but I just can't attach my identity to it. Ultimately, the NHL is a company, and the Canucks are just a part of that company. Again, if you're a fan, that's cool. I mean, you might not be into the latest news on mobile computing technologies and platforms. <laughs> but then again, neither am I, right? Because... That stuff's for nerds. Now, in honor of not being much of a hockey fan, I haven't researched one single fact about this video because, if anything, I'm consistent. That's why I respect being a fan. I mean, I can't be all, you know, hockey's just all about the money at this point. One of my main passions is advertising. Being a real fan of anything means sticking with it through the highs and lows, not just being in it for the good stuff. I mean, sure, the Canucks are doing great right now, but it's when the playoffs begin that all the people who didn't believe in them all season are going to jump on the bandwagon, head to Canadian Tower, buy their little car flags and towels and Luongo jerseys, and suddenly become the biggest fans. Look, it's pretty simple. The fans are in it for this. The first shift of the season! And the bandwagoners are in it for this. <laughs> Stop it. That is a very important intersection and I need to get to London Drug sometimes by a SD card at 10 p.m. Look, I know what you might be thinking. Um, if you're not a Canucks fan, why are you doing a video on bandwagoners? Because honestly, this is a much bigger issue. Everything has bandwagoners. Sports, celebrities, even people leave their friends when someone more popular comes along. This is why you have to share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter and your blog, because you're not a bandwagoner right now, but in a few months when this show is huge, you don't want to seem like one, right? Do you? Hmm? Do you? No, I didn't think so. Now there's a share button below, friends. You can get on it or you can get out. Or don't get out. Please watch, but... Mm. Share, too. Alright, well enough about that. I didn't mean to make this a weekly segment, but it's time for... Truth or Dare. Truth Edition, which is basically uh, truth or dare, but it's only truths. Question the first. Who is your biggest celebrity crush? Wow, thanks for the video question, Jonah. I didn't know you were a viewer. Here's the deal, though. Um, I respect people's work ethic and professionalism, like uh, George Clooney or some of my favorite directors, like Peter Jackson, Edgar Wright, Ben Affleck. But I don't do celebrity crushes, all right? And I'm kind of offended you would think I'm that superficial. Second question. If you could spend the day with Lady Gaga, what would you do? Russell Brand? Well, it depends. Can I get Lady Gaga to do whatever I want? Because I'd say stop being weird for like 10 minutes. You're legitimately interesting, Stephanie. All right, I want to know about how you perform, where you come from, your artistic approach, your life story. You don't have to hide behind the costumes anymore. Question 3. What do the names Kashif and Sham mean? The Grammy Awards logo? <laughs> I didn't know you could talk. I'm not really sure what Sham means, so we'd have to ask him himself but he's not here. So, uh, I would just look it up on the internet. As for my name, I used to think it was Discoverer, but I'm sort of finding out that it seems to be more like, uh, one who reveals stuff or makes things clearer. It's Persian and Arabic, so I'm, both languages I don't really speak, but that's the basic gist of it. Question four. What's the worst thing about plugs? Um, they're pointy. I... What does that mean? Like, literally? They, I don't know. They're different in different countries. That's inconvenient. Isn't that? Why don't they just make that a thing? Now I'm going to flip the segment around on you a little bit and feature your answers next episode. Going off the whole bandwagoners having passion and being a fan of stuff thing, what are you passionate about? What are you a huge fan of? What do you really geek out over? Comment below, just in case you don't know where comments are. On general rule of thumb, if there's a thing on the internet, usually there's a comment space below it. It's never anywhere else. Also, like Dunya on Facebook, we started a page after last week's episode. It's at j.mp slash dunyafb. I'm going to be posting an exclusive video on there this weekend of behind the scenes of this episode of Overshare. So go head over there to, uh, to get that. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys again. Well, you'll see me again. But next week, oh, I've messed this up. Episode 4 of Overshare. Ah. Okay, is everyone else gone now? Okay. Here's a secret. Um, I made this video because it's a larger issue and everything, but also, 
I don't pay much attention to hockey, but the Canucks seem like they might have a shot at the Stanley Cup this year. So I cannot waste the time watching the games. And then if they get to that point and I start being a fan, people are like, whoa, bandwagoner. And I can be like, no, check out this video from back in January. I'm the truth. I shouldn't have said I don't watch hockey. Then. Oh, then I put this part. That's going to mess it up.